Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. If you remember in the last part, we finished off Skyview Temple, and it looks like we're being greeted by uh, Maki here. At least I'm guessing that's which Kikwi it is, I don't know. It all seemed the same to me. But uh, no, we have not found the girl yet, unfortunately. Yeah, it's too bad, at least nowhere I need to search next to find her. That's something, yeah, I guess so. Alright, so yeah, just pretty much showing gratitude here. This whole conversation really isn't, you know, that necessary, but it's always good to check in with minor characters every now and then, you know, give them a little extra personality, a little extra dialogue, can't hurt. Alright, so now that we've finished up our duties here in Skyview Temple, we are pretty much done with this region for the time being. We picked up the, uh, what was it, the Ruby Tablet, I believe? And that should open up the next place on the surface for us to explore, so I say without any further ado, let's get back up to the sky. And of course, while we're up here in between segments, you pretty much know how this works in Zelda games. There's going to be quite a few things that are open to us as far as side quests and collectibles are concerned. Uh, first off, I believe we have one goddess cube we need to uh, still claim. Yeah, you can see it's back over there at the pumpkin landing, so let's put our beacon over there. Yeah, that's, that's close enough to it. We pretty much know where that is anyway. It's not too hard to find, so let's turn around a bit, see if we can get this little booster here. Um, we're actually going to be introduced to a completely new side quest here in just a few minutes, so that should be pretty fun. And uh, we've got some more equipment and stuff to buy, people to talk to, so it's going to be a fun time. Uh, this one we want to make sure when we land, we land kind of on this little roof area here. We want to open the chest. And we get a whopping gold rupee worth 300 rupees. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, so that maxes out our wallet pretty well. It's not completely full yet, though, thanks to the extra wallet that we purchased, so... See, that did come in handy. It wasn't just a complete waste of money. Alright, so now that we've got that, let's actually head into the Lumpy Pumpkin. If you remember, we caused some havoc the last time we came in here, broke the chandelier and stuff. The owner got a little bit mad, I guess understandably. But, uh, we're currently working to repay our dad. I don't believe he has any jobs for us at the moment. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna say he's gotta think of what we're gonna do next. So yeah, he's already scheming about what we need to do. Scheming. I don't know, it seems like he should say, like, planning or trying to figure out what you should do next. No, he's scheming. He's gonna make us suffer for it. <laughs> uh, but the real reason I came in here was to talk to this guy. So, uh, you believe me. Uh, believe what? There's a fiendish demon living in Skyloft. I'm telling you, I came this close to getting eaten by that evil beast. You look like you've gotten a little night training, but you better keep your guard up or he'll take a bite out of you, too. Oh, well, that doesn't sound good, and I don't know, we've been in Skyloft for a while, seems like an alright place. There's a reason I talked to him, that'll come into play here in just a little bit, so... Uh, not really much else to check out here, let's head out and go back to Skyloft. We're gonna have a ton of things to do around there, though, so we're gonna be, uh, up here in the sky for quite a while before we actually head back down to the surface again. Alright, so we're landing back in Skyloft once again, and as you can see, I've landed pretty much right next to the statue of the goddess here. Wait, since we have the ruby tablet, we might as well go ahead and take care of that first. Figure we might as well go ahead and insert this, get that out of the way, and then we'll get on with our side stuff. Alright, so uh, no need to do the Skyward Strike again. We can pretty much just walk up to this, examine it, and Link will automatically place in the tablet there. Nice. Well, that last one's got to be pretty big, huh? <laughs> Master, I've confirmed the location of a second opening in the Cloud Barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Of course, alright, so placing the second tablet into this little um, indentation here has caused yet another hole to open up to the surface. Brand new areas to explore, fun stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on our next side quest here. Uh, we've got a couple things we want to buy, which I might go ahead and start out doing that. I think we're actually going to get, a uh, called here as we leave this area. Uh, we're gonna get a little scene, yeah, from this lady right here. Kukiel! Kukiel! Where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukiel, where did you go? 
What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, Link. Now, let me guess. You're going to ask me to find her, right? We know how this goes. What perfect timing. You haven't seen my Kukio, have you? Uh, nope. I haven't really seen anybody. I, I see. Please, Link, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could to find everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly, someone must have just walked off with her. Find Kukio, please, please. It breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please, Link. <sighs> Alright, fine, we'll do it. <laughs> Night Academy should be proud to have a suitor like me. Yeah, there you go. See, there's the proper thanks for... Whoa, no. I want to raise my shield at her. All right, so yeah, we have a little side quest. Obviously, we need to find her missing child, and that's going to introduce us to uh, pretty much the major thing I've been hinting at. Uh, but before we really make too many steps towards that, we've got some money, so I think we should go ahead and spend a little bit of it. Alright, so we're back in the bazaar. Not too much has changed, but if we look over here, we can see that the, the uh, merchant, I don't know, th this guy, whatever you want to call him, he's kind of creepy. But uh, he's actually selling a brand new shield. He's got something to say to us. So he's got new gear in stock. We can purchase an iron shield and a small seed satchel. So a couple extra things. Uh, the small seed satchel is over here. Basically, you can carry these in your equipment pouch and you'll be able to carry extra seeds. Um, I believe it's five per small satchel, so... I don't know, it's not worth it. I never carry any of those. I will, however, buy an iron shield. As he says, it's much more durable than a wooden shield. Happy to report that it won't burst into flames. Well, that's good, at least. And it won't protect us from electricity. So there's a reason we're buying this. Obviously, he said it won't burst into flames. The wood shield would probably be vulnerable to that. So obviously, the next area we're going to is probably going to be fire-themed. So you may want to make sure you have an appropriate shield to protect you from it. All right, so we've picked up our iron shield. I guess we can go ahead and get it equipped. Nice, check that out. Definitely looks a lot better than the little circle of wood we had. So I don't, I can't tell what that design is. It kind of looks like like bird talons, maybe you know, like a bird footprint. I guess that could be. That would kind of make sense. Uh, we could also talk to uh, what was his name, Gondo, Gonzo. Uh, I don't know. He, I don't think he says his own name, but something like that. Uh, we can go over here and we can actually upgrade some of our gear. Uh, now that we've picked up a few things, as well as a few materials, we might actually be able to do a little bit of work here. Um, it turns out we can't really upgrade too much right now. You can see we don't have even any of those materials, so, um, you know, there wouldn't be any good there. Um, here we're missing the Dusk Relics. Uh, it turns out I believe the Wooden Shield is the only thing that we can upgrade right now. Yeah, you can see that requires two, one, three, one, 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 and three, and a little bit of money, so we might as well go ahead. We won't be using the wooden shield that much, but, you know, can't hurt to upgrade it. Okay. Alright, so we're just gonna wait right here while he gets to work on it. He seems kind of disproportionate to me, don't you think? Like, his upper body is huge, like he's got huge shoulders and like a really broad chest, but his legs are like skinny. I don't know, it's kind of weird to me, but... <laughs> Anyway, we've upgraded to the bandage shield, so that's good. And uh, now we don't really have anything else you can tinker around with, so let's get out of here. So yeah, obviously uh, the bandage shield is basically like the wooden shield, except a little bit more durable. Uh, you can't really tell too much just by looking, but it is slightly better. So uh, unfortunately though, like I said, we're going to be using the iron shield for the next section, so you know, I guess it doesn't really help too much. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and head out of the bazaar. We've got a little bit of leftover money. I generally try to like to spend as much of it as I can. So um, what I think I'm going to do is actually head over to Beetle Ship. Now we've got 390 rupees, which is enough to buy the last two um, of the extra wallet space upgrades. So we're going to do that if I can find his ship around here somewhere. There it is. Our, use our last shot to get that, I guess. <laughs> that was a really kind of awkward spot. It was like right next to the stairs. Alright, so let's get pulled up here, head into the shop. And uh, I'll probably off screen some of this because the whole process takes a little bit. But uh, we'll go ahead and go in and buy the first one. 
right, so he still offers pretty much the same stuff, except obviously in place of the bug net, he now sells this. It's basically a metal that'll make bugs appear more often. We're not really going to bother with that. We are, however, of course, going to get an extra wallet, carry an extra 300 rupees. So, yes, and of course, it still costs 100 rupees, so let's buy it. And that'll upgrade our capacity by another 300. Sweet. So, unfortunately, in order to buy another one, they're still sold out for the time being. You have to leave and re-enter, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, so we've upgraded our wallet once more, and just to prove it, there you go, you can see plus 900 on our wallet, so... We can now hold quite a bit of rupees. I, if I remember right, I think it holds 300 by default? So that would leave us with a 1200 rupee capacity already, and we've just started this game, so... That's pretty cool. Alright, so that's pretty much all the shopping I want to do. I don't really have enough to afford too much more that's useful. Now, let's talk to this kid. Let's see what he knows. So, yeah, we went to Beetle's Air Shop with Adam. So, we can ask him about Kukul. And, um, he says he saw her playing by the graveyard yesterday. He left, didn't know what she did after that. So, that's a little bit of a hint. Uh, we'll pick up kind of various hints from different people here and there. But, uh, it turns out, I'm not really gonna go through the whole process of, like, trying to figure it out, you know, because I, of course, already know where to go. So, we're just gonna go into some random person's house and sleep. And, uh, this is the first time, I believe, that we're actually gonna be doing this. Um, if you find a bed, it doesn't really matter whose it is. Uh, you can just walk up to it. Uh, we can choose to sleep until night if we'd like. So, Link will put down his gear, hop into bed. <laughs> Literally hop into the bed. And we'll wake up at night time. So this is pretty much the way that you can artificially pass time, uh, I believe. Yeah, this is uh, Oriel and Pero, I believe. Obviously, the guy's Pero, the girl's Oriel. So let's talk to her. It looks like she's got something. So, really think there are monsters abducting children? Oh, I don't know. And nothing phases you, does it? A child just vanished from our little village. Oh, don't patronize me now. Okay, well, fine. We'll go with the other option, then. And it's funny, I believe if uh, if we go with the other option, she'll, like, kind of chastise us for that, too. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> Let's not be ridiculous here. This monster business is going a bit far. It's like, what do you want from me, lady? Yeah, so she mentions the old man who lives near here. Uh, everyone knows he's a little loony. No one takes him seriously. And she says uh, that he is at the Lumpy Pumpkin to the east of here. So it's basically the same old guy that we talked to before who told us there was a monster running loose and all that stuff. So if we want it, I believe we can um, sleep until morning again, go back to the Lumpy Pumpkin, get some more information from him, sleep until night, come back. It's a big, long process. But like I said, I pretty much already know where to go, so we're just going to go ahead and take care of it. Oh. <laughs> you can't read the sign from this angle. Wow, that, that's kind of cool. I'll just break it then. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know why that bat was giving me so much trouble. Well, see, now it's broke. See, see, look what you did, Link. You broke the sign. It's not possible to read it. No, man. All right, well, I guess we'll stop playing with the sign. Where we need to actually be heading um, is over to the graveyard. Yeah, and you can see that's right down there. So, uh, unfortunately, we're probably, I think, going to have to take the bridge across, which makes it a little bit longer. I don't think there's a place to actually get back up onto land if you try to swim. Uh, you can see there's a lot of fences around and kind of a waterfall there, so got to take the long way. So in here, yeah, in here you basically just have to watch out for the chews. They can be a little bit annoying. Uh, but what we want to actually do is check out the gravestone right next to this tree. Hit it. It'll kind of glow. Then we can push it. That'll open up a little door over there. Again, like I said, there's a long process you can go through to figure this out. But, uh, you know, you're not expected to just know it or anything. But I already do, so we're going to take advantage of that. Alright, so we can drop down here, run across these platforms. You can see there's actually a building down here. No, oh, well, that's not good. Let's check that out. Alright, we're just sitting here staring each other down. Let's go in. Stop, please, I beg of you. Don't hurt me. Oh, goodness. I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you, I mean no harm. We were just playing the Scream as Loud as You Can game. Isn't that a fun game? Oh, dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. 
My name is Betro, and I'm a monster who resides in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Not exactly the image we got. Proven difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. It's probably because they have. <laughs> All right, so yeah, he's gonna introduce us here. This is kind of a long dialogue, uh, but basically the uh, happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal, and they're quite amazing. So, uh, yeah, so he believes that if he gets enough gratitude crystals, they'll actually be able to turn him from a monster into a human. So once he, uh, from the moment he laid his regrettably demonic eyes on me, he could tell I was gentle and generous. So yeah, we'll gather some stuff for you. We're just helping out everyone, aren't we? So yeah, we can obtain gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. And they could also be merely lying about in Skyloft, elsewhere among the clouds. So, yep, yeah, we'll have to find those. And... Like I said, this is kind of a long text, but there we go. There's our introduction. I keep doing that. Uh, there's our introduction to uh, gratitude crystals. Uh, the girl here should be back on my tomorrow morning. And all that. Sweet. So yeah, basically, there's going to be various side quests, people needing help throughout the game, that if we uh, finish off their quest and help them, we'll gather these gratitude crystals. We can take it back to him, get some rewards and stuff, so, good times. Hi. So we can talk to Kukio here, save me one time I almost fell over the edge, and lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. It's dangerous to go out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here, she'll come home in the morning, of course. So it looks like we found the girl. Um, I, I guess this guy's alright. I'm not sure if he's just putting on a show for me or what. He seemed a little bit too nice, but, uh, well, I, I guess she's alright, so let's go back and uh, find her mom. So, of course, uh, gra the Gratitude Crystal side quest is pretty much going to take us the rest of the game to complete. Um, it's really kind of comparable to, like, the Golden Sculptula stuff that was in Ocarina of Time. You know, things that you're going to have to complete as the game goes on. You take it back periodically to get more rewards and stuff, so... Uh, we're definitely going to make sure to do that. It's going to be a while, but we'll look out for them along the way. Alright, so, uh, Kukiel's house is actually pretty simple to find, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, it's kind of right under here. This is a big open area that's pretty memorable, so um, you should remember how to get here. But this house right here is actually Kukiel's house. Alright, so we go inside. You can see uh, the mother is, yeah, right back here. Oh, you found Kukiel? Hmm, well, I guess it's good to hear she's at least with a friendly and responsible adult, but I just can't wait to see her. Yep. All right, so like like they uh, both said, she'll be back in the morning, so I guess we'll just take her spot in the bed for the night <laughs> and sleep until morning. I'm sure they won't mind, right? We'll just sleep in here. <laughs> I love being able to just sleep in anybody's bed and they don't care. You know, I think that's probably one of the best things. All right, so it's morning time. Let's talk to her again. Oh, Link. Kukio is safely back at home, and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. And as you can see, she's producing some strange crystal substance, and this is, of course, the gratitude crystals we were just told about. And we get five for completing this side quest. Alright, so there you go. There's our first five. Remember, he actually said he'd have a reward for us after five as well, so we'll have to check in on that. But for now, let's just go ahead and leave. And it turns out by completing this first one, there's actually another one that we can do right now. Uh, but we're not actually going to be able to do the one after that for quite a while to come, so... Uh, we'll take care of this one real quick, and then we'll pretty much be done with them for a little while. Uh, in order to find this one, however, we want to kind of run down to the plaza area here. You can see this guy's got some uh, bubbles over his head. So I wonder where she's gone. Hmm. Ugh, I'm so worried, so worried. What's wrong, man? Ah, uh, Link, you really want to hear about all my troubles? That's kind of you. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come home yet. 
It was getting late for her to still be out, so I went looking for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. I just hope nothing has happened. I'm worried sick thinking about it. Oh. Hey, Link, would you mind helping me look for her? She said she was curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I suspect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. I'm counting on you, Link. Alright, will do. So yeah, no, we can't really check our map in here, we wouldn't be able to see too far, so... There's not too much else here to do at the moment, so let's go looking for her. It's pretty easy to find, this won't take too long. Alright, so now that we're out in the sky, let's kind of get our bearings to take a look at what they might be talking about. This island right here is pretty much the most colorful one I can find. Uh, it seems there's quite a lot of colors on it, so... Uh, she's probably on one of these places over here if she didn't make it. So we can pretty much just head over in this direction. Like I said, it's pretty simple. It's pretty close by. So if we uh, fly through here and get a bit of a boost... As we go by, we can see this little tiny circular rock over here. As we get closer, we can see there's actually something on it. So as we drop... Here we go. And we can see it looks like they made a little landing here. Maybe something's wrong with her bird. Whoa. Well, if it isn't Link, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now he can't fly. Somehow managed to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. I can't go home until my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course, it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Oh, wow, well, really? I guess there's a good thing there's a distinction there. Alright, so yeah, I'm sure we'll get some medicine for you. <laughs> and my older brother has some bird medicine. Just go find him and he'll give you what I need. I bet he's probably pacing around the plaza in Skyloft, waiting for me to come home and being worried out of his mind. Huh? Really? You already spoke to him? Well, that makes things easier. I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hurry back. Alright, so, yep, of course, another person to help. Um, I suppose that whole dialogue was uh, probably there, because I believe you can find her without actually talking to the uh, brother first. So, you know, it, it kind of makes the whole thing a little bit redundant if we've already talked to him, but... Um, I suppose if you hadn't, then that would be a good location of where he's at. Oh, hey, dude. <laughs> What's up? Just kind of flying alongside me here. Alright, so back to Skyloft we go. It's not too long of a flight, especially with these little boosters here. So we can just dump off right at the plaza. Alright, so let's talk to the brother again. We're gonna have to make one more trip out there and back. What? You found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly. That's terrible. In that case, take her this as quick as you can. These are mushroom spores. They will heal the bird's injury. All right, and we get some mushroom spores. Spores from giant mushrooms said to work wonders on injured birds. Sweet. If she uses this, it'll quickly heal the bird. She should then be able to make her own way back home. Take it to my sister. You can keep the empty bottle once she's had a chance to use the stuff inside. I'm counting on you, Link. All right, so he, not only did he give us the mushroom spores, but yes, we did get a next our next bottle here. So that's pretty cool. Once we've uh, finished doing what we need to do with these, we can keep the bottle afterwards. So that's pretty neat. All right, so one more trip back out there. All right, so it looks like we've made it back. Let's go ahead and give her the medicine here. Oh, mushroom spores. What a relief. You brought the medicine. No, oh, sorry. No. Nah, here, take it. <laughs> I, I love some of the no options in this game. <laughs> it's like, sorry, I, I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> and I like her bird, too. It actually matches her really well. Like, the, the kind of the back of its head in there, like, its hair, it kind of has, like, a braid like she has, so <laughs> that's kind of neat. But... <laughs> I was beginning to think we were doomed. You saved my life and my birds. We both owe you a big thanks. So, of course, that's going to give us our next batch of Gratitude Crystals. Alright, so that's going to bring us up to ten. We're moving right along on those. Here we go. See you back in town. Alright, so off she goes. Nice. Now, it turns out we're not actually completely done with this yet. Now, we are going to head back to Skyloft, of course, real quick. So, let's take care of that. Alright, back at the plaza one more time. Like I said, we're gonna have to make a couple back and forth shows, but it's just about over. Uh, we can actually talk to the brother again here. Link, my sister made it home safely. Thank goodness, I was so worried about her. Thanks so much for your help, Link. 
and he's gonna give us yet another batch of gratitude crystals. So yeah, you actually get 10 from this quest indirectly. Um, as far as I know, it's really the only one that does that, so uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't guess it was a mistake, because the total comes out to be a pretty even number in the end, but uh, either way, we got 10 for that, so I guess we won't complain too much. Alright, so now we've uh, finished up the gratitude quests that we can do right now. Like I said, the next one's not going to be available till uh, a little while still, so we're going to have to just play through the game a bit before we can take care of those. What I'm going to do right now, though, is actually head back to the Academy, and once we get there, that's probably where we're going to end this episode. Grab the... no, grab the fruit. Okay, well, I guess not, then. Alright, so let's head inside. Uh, we're going to stop by Link's room and sleep, you know, because there's no place like home, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so Link's room is right over here. And alright, this is where we're going to end the part, so uh, next time we've got just a little bit more side stuff to take care of. It won't take too long, then after we finish that, we're ready to head down to the next area on the surface. So, till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.